In 2013, Angostura Aromatic Bitters Global Cocktail Challenge um, continues again the search for the world's best bartender and the most proficient user of Angostura Aromatic Bitters. The competition was held here in Trinidad during the carnival period, so it was actually held on the 10th of February. Bartenders came from various parts of the world, all over the globe, uh, from as far as New Zealand to Ukraine, Trinidad, uh, and even as far as Argentina as well. My name is Igor Stepanov, I am from Russia, Moscow. I work at Time Out Bar and I am a chief bartender in this bar. It's very important for me. It, I think it's uh, one of the biggest competitions in the world and uh, I very want to win. Меня зовут Мухин Саислав, я представляю Украину. Я стал победителем на чемпионате Европы в Греции. И теперь я представляю Европу на этом международном чемпионате Angostura Global Cocktail Challenge. My name is Jake Batsaroy Sorrell and I'm uh, representing uh, New Zealand and Oceania, so Australia as well. My name is uh, Oliver Stern. I'm the bar manager and bartender at the Toronto Temperance Society in Toronto, Canada. It is so exciting to be here uh, for the competition and to be here for Carnival. I've heard a lot of great things about Trinidad and I'm really excited to participate in Carnival and to participate in the competition. I'm Dominic Walsh, I'm from South Africa and uh, I work for a company named Molecular Bars. I'm Elliot Ball, I'm from the UK, I'm bar manager at a place called Shaker & Company in London. I'm Sean Frederick from Citizen Public House in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm thrilled to be here. This is my first time in the Caribbean, let alone Trinidad, during Carnival. The atmosphere is electric, I've been here only 24 hours, but uh, you can tell that the locals know, you know, all eyes are on us. My name is Daniel Bieber. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, I'm a bartender and I work in Frank's Bar. As a big fan of bitters, it's great to be here in Angostura House and representing my country in the competition. My name is Pankaj Kamble and I'm from India, Mumbai. I freelance all over India. My name is Daniel Jones. I'm the managing director of Martini Makers Limited, a professional bar service company. My name is Ryan Mitu and I'm from Kingston, Jamaica, and I'm representing the Caribbean region in the Angostura Global Cocktail Challenge. I'm psyched about being in Trinidad. It's so, it's so much, you know, to, to take in at once. Um, wow, coming in on the flight, my eyes are all over the place. Um, People are great, the, the food, the atmosphere is just nice and inviting. You just want to leave the competition for a while and stray off. So you're going to do your own sightseeing, but have to take care of business first. Friday morning, they began with a tour of Angstura, the museum, the distillery, and then they were very privileged to be able to participate in a master class held by the legendary Salvatore Calabresi, uh, who is renowned as one of the world's greatest mixologists alive today. Salvatore's master class usually uh, takes a format in the morning where he will do more theory and talk about his history in the business. In the afternoon, he would have done live cocktail demonstrations. So some of the theory that people would have learned in the morning would have then been applied in the afternoon. Uh, people would have gotten a chance hands-on to make some cocktails, um, see how you know the master does it, and uh, you know hopefully it will help them with their skills as well.
they were basically treated down the islands for a cultural show and event where they were able to uh, see different facets of Trinidad's culture, dance, music, and food, of course. I, 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 the party starts, fantastic Friday. Sincerely from your heart, can go this Friday. I'm just here to say I love you. Fantastic Friday. If I saw more the blue, can go this Friday. Friday, match up the place, Friday. Saturday afternoon at the Hyatt really uh, was a rum tasting session with John George's. Uh, some of these bartenders are actually tasting our rums for the first time. Um, but those who have tried it before uh, also now get a fuller appreciation and understanding of each of the blends and the different uh, characteristics that each rum has. So for them it was a very educational session. We incorporate quite a bit of education into this uh, global cocktail challenge simply because the whole experience needed to be more educational and I think this year we definitely succeeded in that. This year the competition was different in two ways. One, we decided to bring it back home to the House of Angster which we naturally felt should have been the, uh, the venue for the competition because there's a lot of rich history here and there's quite an ambiance and you know you just feel the history when you walk in and at the same time we also put a little bit of a production element into it um, so with our agency um, we were able to create a concept called Hot Carnival which is actually an ode to the old uh, mass playing days where it started in terms of the plantations with the French masters and slaves um, so we took the elements of that historical concept and put it together to decorate the venue um, and we had quite a bit of influence so I mean we, we saw a bit of a transition where we started off the competition with um, you know an, a European feel with you know the influence of the French and so on and then later on we saw a lot of carnival characters coming out um, like Jab Jab, the Dame Lorraine and so on which are all indicative of of uh, characters from that era when Carnival first started. So that pretty much set the tone and the background for the competition. This year we had probably the strongest panel we've ever had. To have Salvatore Calabresi as the head judge is, is quite an achievement. Um, you know, Salvatore's time is, is very valuable and uh, you know, he's not always available. So we're very happy to have had him as our head judge. Um, we also had legendary Hidetsugu Ueno from Japan. Um, Hidetsugu is renowned for his ice carving skills, ice sculpting skills. He's also considered to be Asia's best bartender. We also had Anto Edelman, who's the founder of the uh, famous Tears of the Cocktail uh, New Orleans event. Every year in New Orleans around July, she puts on a show uh, for bartenders, which includes seminars, a lot of tasting events, parties, and so on. And for the last 10 years, it's been the premier cocktail event and educational seminars uh, workshop to be in in the US. As is customary, we always have Vidya Yubdut Nath, who is our executive manager in charge of technical services, be on the panel as well. And we also have the current champ, David Delaney Jr., who won the competition last year. He makes up the panel, so there's five uh, judges in all for the panel. Really excited about my two drinks. Uh, the first is called the Broadside, which has a bit of a uh, naval name to it. It takes two um, drinks with a strong maritime tradition, the pink gin and the gimlet, mashes them up. Uh, we've got navy strength, overproof gin, uh, fresh lime juice, a rooibos tea syrup, and a couple goodly dashes of Angostura bitters. Most importantly, the garnish for the drink is all right here. It's a nice, big, beautiful, double old fashioned glass that I'm gonna be smoking with Angostura bitters and cinnamon. My second drink is the Steel Pan Swizzle. It's my tribute to Carnival. Um, so we've got Angostura 1919, um, fresh fruit flavors of pineapple and lime, some nice spice from uh, allspice dram, and smokiness from uh, a nice smoked tea syrup that I'm making. Um, we're topping it off with 10 dashes of Angostura bitters. Um, it's a feast for the eyes, and again, beautiful aroma from uh, some Ra's El Hanout, which is a nice aromatic garnish that just, it's just something that, you know, 
Once you smell it, you know you're on vacation. I want to prepare two cocktails, one of them on, uh, based on the Rome Angostura of five years and uh, other on uh, Angostura Reserva, a Carnival Julep. Its name, it has a name uh, because in Trinidad and Tobago you have uh, one of the biggest carnival in the world. They are very fre freshly, uh, uh, they have uh, berries, rum, a lot of ice and it's very tasty cocktail. Um, category it based on Angostura five years with uh, orange liquors, grapefruit, Angostura bitters and uh, some spices and smoke. For the rum category, uh, the cocktail is called Dame Lorraine and it's made of Angostura 7 years old rum, champagne rosé, orange marmalade and an orange twist. At last but not least, Angostura bitters. My freestyle cocktail is the Calypso Monarch and it's made of Angostura 7 years old rum, honey, lemon juice and Angostura bitters. My freestyle cocktail is a cocktail called the Royal Warrant. It's almost my twist off the Trinidad Sours. So it's obviously got some Angostura aromatic bitters, a little bit of orange bitters, some molasses, a little bit of bourbon. My next cocktail is called the Trinidad Temptation. Some Angostura 1919, some sweet vermouth, and a little bit of cinnamon flavors. My first cocktail, Sunny Island. The first ingredient is white grapefruit. Then goes gin greenals, liqueur Maria Brizar peach, syrup morning elderflower, 85 milliliters of ginger ale, and five dashes of Angostura aromatic bitters. Oh! The second cocktail is Master's Secret. 20 grams of pear, rum Angostura reserva, 40 milliliters, and five dashes of Angostura aromatic bitters, syrup morning and estragon, fresh lime juice, birch tree juice. My rumbiest cocktail is called Smoky Bitters. It's an infusion of smoke in many different elements. Um, um, and using the bitters in a variety of ways. For instance, I've, I have cinnamon bark that has been soaked in Angostura bitters for over 30 days. Um, I am doing a fresh Portugal liqueur created by myself, um, where I use a Portugal skin, using a similar recipe as limoncello, but using our rums. And my three-style cocktail is called the Charma. You're gonna see a calabash on my set. I'm gonna be using a swizzle stick in this as part of my tools but I'm going to maintain a classic selection of ingredients like Benedictine. I'm using sherry vinegar as one of the elements also. I'm using some infusions like bay leaf and honey also in the charma. So I'm excited to see how the judges will respond to the charma if it's really going to charm them all. I'll be making two drinks. One is Divine Portion. This cocktail I've made keeping in mind the palate of India and I've been using one of the key ingredients of my cocktail that will be Tulsi. It's an Indian plant, uh, which all over the world it's known as Basil. And the second cocktail which I'm making, I call it as Bliss. Uh, keeping that uh, the Caribbean islands, what I remember is all about beautiful ladies with a nice flower ga garland in their uh, neck. So that's what uh, made me get through this cocktail with a lavender syrup which I'm using, flower. I'm concentrating more on flavors, huge flavors, complexity in my drink. My rum cocktail is called 1919 um, and that's playing on the flavors in Angostura 1919. Um, it's quite tropical, sort of cold, aimed at taking you to a beach. My freestyle cocktail is called the Parker. 
um, and that's a warm drink. It's a twist on a hot buttered rum. Um, and it's got warm, uh, spicy notes and served hot. Um, and that's going to take you, hopefully, to someplace cold, someplace where I'm from, Wellington. Well, my two drinks I'll be making, one is called the West Indian, and that is the rum cocktail. It typically describes our West Indian type of character and our passion and our flavor. Um, well balanced, easy to drink on the palate. And the second one um, is a freestyle cocktail. It's another rum cocktail. It, the rum was so nice I had to do it twice. It's called the Seagirt's Secret Martini and has a secret foam. I have uh, two drinks. The first one's the Burning Embers, so it's sort of named after sort of a residual heat from the spice that, uh, that's left with you when you're drinking it. It's using rum, fresh mint, fresh lime juice, lots of Angostura bitters, and uh, a jalapeno orgeat, so it's sort of got the spicy, sweet, and citrus. The other one is a flip. Uh, it's really uh, quite, quite rich, and it's also used in the Angostura rum, lots of Angostura bitters. That one's called the trip flip. Uh, sort of a funny name when I named it, but now that it's uh, taken me on one trip and I uh, hope it will take me on a few more. The one I'm doing for the freestyle category is called the Prodigal Punch. The thing I love about Angostura 1919, which is what you try to use for its base, is that it's got this really, really heavy vanilla flavour. So, I mean, it's, it's a mixture of like Angostura 1919, uh, homemade lime cordial, uh, pomegranate juice, and Angostura bitters, obviously, and a little bit of the Angostura orange. But the main thing is that I actually serve it at room temperature. It does allow you to really, really smell the drink, and it smells awesome. The other one was kind of inspired a little bit by Angostura as well as their lemon lime uh, bitters and that I, I made this fresh grapefruit and lemon cordial and one of the flavours which combines amazingly well with vanilla is the sort of eggy sort of aspect of it so it's quite savoury but I decided to basically take the Angostura 1919 the cordial and loads of bitters like good 10 dashes. The judges scored basically across four categories. The highest score would always be taste, and then second would be presentation. Um, again, that comes back. All the bartenders were mic'd up, so their presentation in terms of how they presented their drinks, what they said, um, their overall skill and style and grace in terms of making the cocktails would have been judged. And then, of course, also appearance and aroma. Um, you know, again, focusing more on the aesthetics of the, of the cocktail itself. Rum and soca, soca and rum, rum and soca, soca and rum. Guys, I have asked you to give me a journey, a journey of experience. Really, truly, I have to say I was humble, honor, and uh, and we felt very special to be a bartender. You really gave us a special journey. A journey of flavors, an experience of skill, and you want some of the best that I ever see. So in my eyes tonight, none of you is a, a loser. Every each one of you is a winner. Please, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of this year's global final is Danielle Jones. <laughs> I love what I do. I, I got to meet my mentors, Salvatore, Mr. Uno. Um, you know, I got a nice approval from them when I did my drink. Um, and just the win was the peak of everything. I'm excited. I, I, I really do hope and look forward to, to bring in some type of benefit to Angostura. I love my rums. I, I love my Caribbean. I love the Caribbean flavors that we have. And that's the reason why I did two rum cocktails. For the competition, we, uh, we offer a one-year global ambassador contract. So it does involve appearances both regionally and internationally for our ambassador. It will be exciting here for Daniel because I mean, there will be a lot of travel involved, a lot of exposure, and you know, for him, I think it will be a, a nice platform to kickstart his, um, his career or, or you know, take it even further.
Carnival Tuesday, we were able to play Mass with Hearts. About 50 people played, included the uh, media, bartenders, as well as the judges. They all had a very good time. Ash Wednesday, we treated them down the islands because it's a bit of a chance to recharge and you know, uh, you know, rest their bones from the amount of partying they would have done for me two days before. Something is this just a way, yeah. No headache for carnival. I drink it tonight. The Hidetsugo was able to do a bit of a demonstration of his ice carving skills and also the Japanese hard shake, which is a bit of a, a phenomenon in terms of how they shake a cocktail. Everyone seemed to have a total blast and enjoy themselves. And um, you know, a lot of people wish they can come back again next year. The first time when I stepped in, the, in one of the parties out here, I'm an Indian. And when I see a Tasha being played, with the Trinidian style, it was like, oh my god, I cannot just hold myself dancing and like, I, I made everyone out of the flow, it's my day and I'm gonna do that. And I was like dancing like, like crazy. The culture, it's, oh, it's, it's been in incredible. Well, what I found is, is Trinidad is just a friendly place. You know, you can, have a, you can have a chat with just someone on the street and everyone's really, really nice to you and really will willing to, to chat to you. The carnival was, as you can hear by my voice, amazing. It was, it was, it was incredible, incredible. Amazing, eh, in a word. Um, I've been to, to quite a few different places on different continents and experienced different cultures, but I've never been to the Caribbean before. And I've got to say, this, is, this takes the cake in terms of anything. The host, like, it just has a, a culture of partying and hospitality and just having a good time and enjoying life. First time we came here, that was obviously an incredible thing. You've, you've been flown out to a country and you're put on a boat and flown to what seems to be like a private island almost for dinner and now we're here again. It's amazing. And uh, I mean, the other thing is, even if we had no activities, the guys we're here with are such interesting people. They'd be fun in it anyway. Very soon we will be developing a launch kit for 2014. Um, and then the work will start again where we will search and we will do a lot of regional heats a lot of preliminaries, again, for the quest to find the next Daniel Jones or the next David Delaney. So a lot of hard work will start again pretty much in the next couple of months. <laughs>